everyone, my name is Talaya, and I'm back again with another HIIT workout for you today that you can do in the comfort of your own home, or you can take it outside and do it in nature. So for today's workout, we're going to go ahead and start our warm up. Today's workout will be 30 minutes, and we'll be targeting upper body, lower body, and cardio. So we're going to go ahead and get everything nice and warmed up so we can begin our workout. The way this workout will be set up, we have three moves for, per circuit. Each move will be performed for 30 seconds of work and have 10 seconds of rest. Each move will be performed for three rounds. So let's go ahead and warm it up so we can get ready to get this workout started. All right, so our very first warm up, we're gonna start with some torso twists. So let's just go ahead and get that torso nice and warm. So just gonna rotate, we're gonna have everything hips squared out. Have our hands above at our chest level and we're gonna twist. Looking good. Keep it here. For these twists, we're gonna do 10, which will be five towards each direction. So let's take it up in three, two, and one. Let's get it. Perfect, keep it up. Awesome. Three, two, and one. All right, everyone, great job. Let's go ahead and move it on to our next move, which will be arm swings. We're gonna alternate which arm goes on top and which arm goes on the bottom. So you're just gonna swing across our chest. Again, we're gonna do that for 10, which will be five in each way. So we have one going when your hand is above and below. So let's go ahead and take it up in three, two, and one. Let's get it. Get those shoulders nice and warm and loosen them up so we can get ready to start working them out. Keep it up, make sure your arms are swinging back to the back as well. Looking good. Make sure we're breathing. We're gonna keep it here for three, two, and one. Awesome, awesome. All right, let's take it to our knee hugs. So we're gonna do, we're gonna grab our knee, catch our balance, grab our knee, <laughs> hug it to our chest, drop it down and do it on the other side. All right, so we're gonna take that up as well with five on each leg for a total of 10. So let's go ahead and take it up in three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and take it up. One, one, two, two, keep it up. Looking good. Perfect. Good. Extra 10 on each side. Give me two more here. One and two. Perfect. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go up back to our arms. We're gonna do arm circles. So we're gonna swing them forward for five and back for five. All right, let's take that up. And three, two, and one, let's take it up. One, two, three, four, and five. Take it to the back now. One, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. We're gonna take it down to our final move of our warm up, which will be a quad stretch. What you're gonna do is grab your foot, bring it to your butt, and stretch those quads. All right, everyone, we're again, we're doing five with each leg for a total of 10. Let's go ahead and take it up in three, two, and one. So go ahead and grab that heel. Uh -oh. Keep it here. Make sure you catch your balance. Perfect. Working those quads. Awesome job. Give me two more. Perfect. All right, everyone. So we're gonna want to go ahead and get started with our workout. All we need today is a towel and a bottle of water. I'm gonna go ahead and get our timer started. Everyone, so we're gonna go ahead and get everything started for the first circuit. We'll be taking it down to the mat for shoulder taps. So I should get into a plank position. Keeping your spine neutral, having your 
but not too high, not too low. You're gonna keep it here and you're gonna tap your shoulder alternating. You can also do this on your knees to take it down for another option. Let's get it. Work. I'm gonna start it on my knees just to show you how it works. Then we're gonna take it up to the full plank. This move right here works your shoulders, your abs, as well as your chest. So you can alternate if you want to be up or down. Make sure you're breathing. Rest. Awesome job. And if you need that water, take a sip. Let's take it right back up. Work. Perfect. Again, you need to take it down. Feel free to do so. If, if it's slightly uncomfortable, grab that towel. Perfect. And you need to stretch your shoulders out. Feel free to do that as well. Rest. Perfect. Let's take it right back up. Work. Looking good. And if you need to hold it at a basic plank, feel free to do that as well. Just like so. And whenever you're ready, you can start back tapping your shoulders. Perfect. Rest. Alright, that was the last of that move. It's about to complete. So, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to take it to our very next move, which would be surrenders. So what are we going to do? We're going to take it down to our mat. So we're going to stay in front of your mat. We're going to take one knee down, one knee down. Come back, come back, keep it low in the squat, stand it up. And then the group, do it again. Alternating which leg comes up and down. Just like so. Work. Stand it up, squeeze the glutes. Back down. When you take it down, you can drop those knees. I mean, drop your hips down to your feet. Squeeze the glutes at the top again. Bring it right back up. And down. Back up. Rest. All right, everyone. Let's take it right back up for us. Work. Looking good. Keep it here. Keep that chest nice and lifted. Drop it down. Come up, working those quads. Working those glutes and hammy strings as well. Rest. All right, everyone, I'm gonna show you a side view of that move on this round right here. Work. Make sure we're squeezing those glutes as we come up. Whether it be up down here or up standing. Working that lower body. Using that core to keep us stable. It's about to complete. Perfect, everyone. We're going to take it down to our next move, which will be cardio. So what we're going to do, we're going to do some butt kicks. For your butt kicks, you choose what pace you want to go at. 
as long as you're moving, you're doing in that workout. So we're just gonna keep it here. And try to get as much of that heart rate up and moving as we can. Let's go ahead and take it up. Work. Looking good, make sure you're breathing. Lenny, soften your feet. that down the option feel free to do it without the jump so keep one foot on the ground at, at all times rest awesome job let's take it right back up again if you need to do it without the jump feel free to have your feet come to your butt at standing just like so. Keeping that core engaged. Or take it all the way up. Looking good, looking good. Rest. Engage, standing straight up, nice and tall. Keep the knee with a slight bend. Whenever you're ready to take it all the way up, feel free to do that as well. This is your workout, make it your own. Rest. Tabata complete. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and take it to our next circuit. For our next circuit, we'll be taking it to the mat again for another plank variation. This time we'll be doing plank toe taps. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go up in a full plank. We're gonna reach to our toes, just like so. Let's take it up. Make sure your hands are not slipping. We're going to move through this motion. Again, if your hands are slipping, grab your towel, place it where your hands are going to be landing, and reach for those toes. your station ready. And we're working through this motion. For another option, if you want to do that without the full plank, feel free to take the plank to your knees and work back to almost child pose. Just to get the same action. Rest. Everyone, looking good. Let's do it one more time. Work again. How I said earlier, you can have a kneeling plank position. You work it to child's pose and back. You're getting that same motion in your abs as you would if you were doing the full motion. Again, the full motion looks just like this. Touching those ankles or shins. Rest. All right, everyone, perfect. Let's take it to our lower body move. Tabata complete. All right, for our very next move, we'll be doing squats with a front kick. So you're gonna take it down, kick forward, down, 
kick forward. And then with the squat, our knees are not passing our toes. Keep that chest uplifted. Weight in your heels. Kick forward. You can do this without the kick as well. Just like so. Work. You use as much might and strength you want to use that for that kick. This is your workout. Again, you don't have to use a kick. You can keep it here in the big six squat. With that chest nice and uplifted, squeeze those glutes at the top. Rest. Awesome job, everyone. Work. Take it back up. Keep it up. Get that leg as high as you choose. There we go. Looking good. Perfect. Rest. Grab some water. without that kick. That kick adds just an extra bit of a core workout to this move. Just like so. complete. All right, everyone, we're taking it down to our next move, which will be cardio. We'll add a little bit of abs to it. Go ahead, catch your breath. We're going to be doing a standing oblique crunch. So we're going to go to the side, have our arms across, bring our knee in, release, switch, keep it going. Crunch those ab muscles. Work. Looking good. Get that crunch right there. Awesome. If you want, you can grab a towel for this and bring the towel over your around your knee. Have your knee go through the towel. Rest. Perfect. Let's go ahead and take it right back up in a few seconds. Let's get it. Work. It's best to bring your knee through the loop of your hands, like so. Just like that. And get that ab nice and contracted. Looking good. Rest. All right, let's take it right back up. Get that ab crunch right there. Pull that knee through. Perfect. Just like so. Grab the towel. Take it right back up. Awesome job, everybody. Rest. Perfect. All right, everyone, let's take it up to our very next move. For our next move, we're gonna grab that towel. We're gonna be doing front raise to upright row. So we're gonna be pulling that towel up tight. Have our arms come straight up down, bring those elbows to the sky, and repeat. Keeping that core nice and tight. 
Shoulders. Work. Looking good. Make sure you're pulling the towel tightly to have the extra resistance. Just like so. And for the upright row, when bring your elbows up, have them pointed in a V shape. Looking good. Get those shoulders working. And you have to towel your hands, so go ahead and towel up. Grab some water. And let's take your right back up. Work. Row. Front raise to the row. Your shoulders will feel very tight because we're getting that extra work with that added resistance. Keep it here, you're doing amazing. Make sure we're breathing. If you need to roll your shoulders down, just one back. Rest. Let's do that one last time. We're almost done. Let's get it. Work. Looking good, everyone. Keep it up. We're halfway through this move. This is our last time doing this move. Let's go ahead and make it count. It's five more seconds. Come on, let's finish it. Rest. Perfect. I know those shoulders are feeling very tight, but we got it. We're going to take this to our next move. You can walk away. It's about to complete. Back. We're gonna take it to walking lunges. So what we're gonna do, come to the stage of your mat, a little bit further if you need, and we're just gonna walk with a lunge, keep that 90 degree angle, working those glutes, taking it back, working those quads and the hamstrings. Perfect. We're gonna take that up in three, If you want to have your hands above your head Work. or on your head, feel free to do that as well. Do this nice and gentle. Land soft in the knees. Perfect. If you don't have enough space, feel free to go back and forth, forward and reverse lunge. Perfect. Rest. Towel off. Let's take it right back up. Work. Perfect. Looking good. Take it back. Take it back to the front if you need. You're doing amazing. Keep it up. Awesome job, guys. Rest. Work. Let's take it right back up. Perfect. Take it back. You're doing amazing. Keep it up. We're almost done. Okay, there we go. Rest. It's about to complete. All right, everyone. We're gonna take it up for our final move. We're gonna be doing something called broad jumps. So if you need to take a break, feel free to sit down. To the pretty far side of your mat. You're gonna take a little bend and squat. We're gonna jump forward, walk it back. Do as many as you can in the 30 seconds. Walk it back. Let's take it up. 
work. We're working on explosiveness right here. And the cardio. This is your workout. So do as many as you can. Make sure we're landing softly in our knees. Perfect. Take it back up. Rest. Again, this is a very explosive move. So do as many as you can in 30 seconds. Work. Take it back up. Explode. Walk it back. And again. And walk it back. Just like so. Keep it up. You're doing amazing. And walk it back. Rest. All right, everyone. We have one final time to do that. Let's make it count. Let's do it. Work. Let's keep it up. You're doing just fine. Awesome job, everyone. Keep it up. This is our last move today. Make it count. Perfect job, everyone. Rest. Looking good. Session complete. Awesome job, everyone. You have completed your session of HIT today. I am super duper proud of you. So thank you for coming to do this workout with me. Let's go ahead and cool it down. So we're gonna sit in a pike position with our legs together, feet flexed to the sky, have our hands above our head. We're gonna inhale and exhale a couple times right here. So we'll just inhale up and exhale down. Back up. Hold it, exhale down. And again, please. Back out. We're gonna do that one more time, but when we exhale out, we're gonna exhale into a fold. So let's take it up. Exhale. We work a lot of our legs, so we'll go ahead and try to stretch them out. You can flex your feet to look towards you, or you can point your toes and reach to your toes. Awesome job, everyone. So we were proud of you for making it to this workout and through this workout. You did amazing. I want you to go ahead and grab, have your arms out, stretch across your chest, grabbing above or below the elbow. And stretching that shoulder out. Make sure you're rotating that shoulder from your ear. Again, I am super proud of you guys for coming to work out with me today. You did it, you made it through. Congratulations. Now it's time to get out and get active and make a change in the world. Keep it up. All right, we're gonna stretch it on over to our hands and knees. We need to work our abs a good bit. So we're gonna do some cat cow. So we're gonna arch our spine up for a cat. Drop the belly down for a cow. We're gonna take it back up. And back down. Okay. Inhale it here. Exhale it down. And again. Back down. Perfect, everyone. I want you to roll it up nice and slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Take it back to standing for me. We're gonna hinge forward and let our spine, everything just loosely hang. You can grab your elbows and you can rock from side to side if you choose. 
perfect. Bend forward, touch your toes, standing back up. We're gonna go to a straddle. So spread your legs wide, take it down to one leg, hold it here, and breathe, just like so. And when you exhale, you can lower it deeper into the stretch. All right, walking on over to the other leg. Again, when you exhale, you can go lower and deeper into the stretch. All right, let's take it to the middle. Go ahead and stretch as deep as you can right here. Perfect. We're gonna go ahead and walk our feet together and we're gonna again roll our spine up one vertebrae at a time. All right, again, go ahead and stretch everything out if you need to stretch a little bit more. Again, once again, my name is Talaya. This was Hit, and I hope you had an awesome day. And thank you again for working out with me. Bye.